Hi, and welcome to It's a Miracle Beauty. Um, I want to do a short video on some hauls I did recently. I got stuff from ColourPop. I got stuff from Eva Marcus and Saks. And I think that's it. And tell you about my favorite eyelash I found. So I have a huge eyelash collection. I don't wear them every day, so I don't need that big of a collection. However, I love having options. It's like my biggest pet peeve is not having a selection. Um, and recently I tried the Azarito lashes, and they're not in here because they're on my eyes, but this is the So Me one, and I love it. It's very full on the outside and not super full in the inner corner, and they're literally my favorite lashes right now. So since I'm doing a haul, I wanted to point these out. I have another one, um, I forget the name of the other one from Azarito that I have. Um, they are the same way. They don't have too much up here. It's all out here and it fans out and makes your eyes look huge and I love it. So just a quick bite on that. So I did buy some skincare and some makeup from Saks and Neiman. Saks had a sale recently that if you purchased a certain amount, they got a gift card. And then Neiman Marcus had a sale where if you purchase 200 of beauty, then you got $50 off. So I did splurge a bit. I'm going into a no buy for vast majority of my care of my categories and a low buy for just a, a, a quick few. So I kind of wanted to stock up some things. Again, I need options. I cannot do the same thing every day. And why I have a pretty large collection, I had some areas that needed some help. So skincare was one of them. One of the things I got was this Bobbi Brown. I have her primer, moisturizing primer, and I absolutely love it. It makes my skin so soft. So I saw this and I definitely want to purchase this. This comes with a hair oil, an eye cream, and a face cream they're all called like the extra repair so this was 130 but these are huge I don't know if you can see how big they are but this will last me till after it expires I mean it's 1.7 ounces and I don't go through face products very fast I tend to rotate I don't use the same one every day so this will last me quite a while so that again was 130 for all three um, I also purchased two from Juice Beauty I purchased their Stem Cellular Cleansing Oil. I'm obsessed with cleansing balms and oils right now, so I just had to try it. And Stem Cellular 2-in-1 Cleanser. So again, I ended up getting these items for a lot less than they normally retail for because of the discounts. So once I contribute that $50 off at Neiman's or that $75 gets turned at um, Saks, then that makes the products cost less. I'm still spending the money, though. Mm. The other thing I got was the MAC Lightful. This is a C plus Coral Grass Softening Lotion Spray. This has an odor to it. Um, it doesn't stick around. It doesn't linger just when you first spray it. It's in the Fix Plus bottle. And um, I actually thought when I bought it, it probably wouldn't work that well. But I'll try it. At least I can review it. I actually like it. It does make your face a lot um, softer on days I don't wear makeup. I'm actually taking this with me so I can use it during the day. And then I also bought the Clinique Take the Day Off. This is the liquid. I already have the cleansing balm. I posted on Instagram about it. I am in love. I got a sample from Ipsy and I went back and purchased the big bottle or big jar before I even finished it. So I want to get this though for stubborn stuff like lashes, lash glue, or I guess that would be the same thing. Um, lipstick and um, eyeliner. So I wanted to get that. So as far as makeup, so I have quite a few things in here. Oops, no, I forgot two skincare things or two other things. I also bought the Tula Pro Glycol Pro I can talk. Pro Glycolic 10% pH resurfacing gel. You actually get 2.7 ounces. Again, I probably will never use all of it before it expires. And then I bought two different, I only have one here, but I bought two different Sigma um, brush cleanser. I bought this and I bought the foaming one. So far, I am not sold on the foaming, not because it doesn't clean, not because it doesn't work well, but because it actually is a lot of work to keep pumping that and adding more and adding more and adding more. So I feel like it's going to get used faster. The gels, I use the Sigma Matte, they use um, suction cup into your sink, and I actually just put some gel on it and do that until it's gone and the brush goes clean. And typically, one or two squirts can last like, I mean, 5, 10, 15 brushes, depending on the size and the dirtiness and all that. So I'm not super sold on the foam, but I've only used it once, so we'll see. Then I also got these Laura Mercier sponges. I don't know if you can see the shape, but they have like the egg point shape. I love these for doing my under eye powder. I actually didn't buy Laura Mercier last time just because they're expensive. And it is, I think you get four for 18, which is not great, but not horrible. But um, I was using from some triangle ones from the drugstore and they worked good. But one of the things I noticed is that they tore easy and different things. So I'm checking these out to see if these work better. 
As far as makeup, let's see, for primer, I purchased the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. This, I haven't used this on my face yet, I just used it on the back of my hand. And it's very conditioning, very moisturizing, and it does have that coconut smell. So it's not a strong smell, it's very mild, but if you don't like scents, I would not recommend this. Um, so I'm going to try this and I'll definitely do a review on it. It's not a new product by any means, but it's new to me. So I also got a travel size of the MAC strobe cream. Um, I've been wanting this for a while, but I have huge amounts of primer. I mean, my primer drawer is overflowing. I have four baskets in it. So I didn't need it, but I want to try it. And I love illuminating type primers, so I definitely want to check this out. So I'll definitely be trying that. Then I also got from MAC, this is the Light Plus Mineralized Skin Finish. So this is a powder compact. And... I mean, that's been on my list for a bit. From Hourglass, I got one of their ambient blushes. This one is Diffused Heat. Again, not a new product, but I've been wanting it. From NARS, I got the old classic, and everyone has it. This is Orgasm Blush. Then, let's see. For highlighter, I bought Dior. Has this one. It's called a Nude. Let's see, what actual shade is this? No, oh, it's just called Nude Luminizer. And I fell in love with this online and I kept saving it out of my cart and not buying it and saving it out of my cart and not buying it. And so finally I said, you know what, I should buy that. This is another product that I actually have had in my cart probably, I don't even know how long, at least six months. This is the Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani. I wear number two. Um, I have not put this on as far as full foundation, but I did color match it the other day and my skin literally looked, first of all, like skin but better. It, it really was amazing. The, the reviews about this, I have a feeling, are pretty dead on. And then I also got some eyeliners and a lip liner. I'll just show you those real quick. So from I Am Loved is my lip liner. It's by Real Her. Then from Marc Jacobs, I have a greenish teal one. And also from Marc Jacobs, it came in a three-piece set that came with a gel liner, a coal liner, and um, a mascara. And these are the eyeliners. So it's a smoky eye set. Then I also got from Givenchy a green one. I actually, the same week, I didn't realize I did it. I obviously ordered too much this week because I ordered a ColourPop with almost the exact same color. So it's kind of funny that I ended up with two of the same. Then, oh, you know what? I showed you the wrong ones from Marc Jacobs. It's actually a brown gel and then a black coal for the thing. This one is actually navy blue. Apologize, see, I ordered too much. And then Sigma Black Gel. And then two kind of supporting things are not necessarily like a primary makeup item as I purchased from Mario Badescu, their lip balm. I have actually loved every single thing from this company. I, I have their spray, I have a cleansing oil, and I have two toners, and I and a cleanser, and a lotion, and a eye mask. I got the kit. And every single one of them, I, literally, I just go right back to repeatedly because they're amazing. So I want to try their lip balm. I also got, it's from RMS Beauty, the Peach Multi Eye. This is actually like a glimmery or a shimmery peach color that for under the eye and the waterline. Then I also ordered the NARS um, pencil sharpener. Normally I do not splurge on brand name pencil sharpers or anything. I did it on purpose because I read online that these are good for like the Kylie and the ones that have that special type of cartridge. So I'm hoping that this will work because I'm struggling with my ColourPop and my Kylie. Um, there's another brand that I just saw had that. Maybe it was the Marc Jacobs. I can't remember. But I'm struggling with those sharpeners. Like they just don't fit right and it doesn't sharpen good and it takes forever. So that's one of the things. I did also get, this one has been on my list for I think at least six months. I kept taking it out because of the price. I kept taking it out. But I finally splurged this time because I did get a discount on it. And this is the Marc Jacobs. Tantastic bronzer. So I will show you how pretty this is. So this is literally like the prettiest bronze brown color. It's a, I would say it's a warm, but it's not a, like a firm warm that can turn orangey on you. Like it just looks so beautiful. Um, I have a decent supply of bronzers. I probably have too many. I have a ton of Laura Geller and some other ones. But I have been looking at this one, and every time I went to the store, I would, I would look at it and touch it and want it, and then decide not to because of the price. So getting that discount kind of pushed me into it, getting it all the way. I did get two drugstore. I got a Fit Me blush. This is actually in P. 
pink rose. I do like bright pink blushes. They tend to look really good on my skin and they counteract with the bronzer really well. When I use more of a coral or something else, I feel like the bronzer and it muddy and it's kind of more difficult. I then also got a Physicians Formula. This is a butter highlighter. If you have not tried any of this butter brand, and they're not brand new, it's not anything, you know, introducing, it is so, it smells so good, and they are literally a butter texture. Like, the bronzer and the highlighter both are. It's really, I love them. So that was mine from Saks and Neiman's and um, Drugstore. Now, I did recently do a drugstore haul. These were just two I added to in order to hit the 35 for free shipping. But I did do a drugstore haul recently. I got a ton of foundation other stuff. So if you want to see those, comment below and I can actually show you that haul as well. Um, there is so much in drugstore right now. Every time I go to the store, there's more at the store. And the other thing I never thought of is I like Rite Aid. Um, I get 20% off because I'm a rewards member. And then I also earn like cashback rewards. So I go to Rite Aid a lot. Well, I've been going to the same Rite Aid every week for book checking and looking. And I happen to move. So I went to a new Rite Aid. They had completely different brands. So just because you go to one drugstore and or Walmart or Myers or whatever, don't think because every Rite Aid or every Meyer or every um, Walmart has the same section. So that's pretty neat. Um, I also did a pretty good size order. Well, okay, if I'm transparent, I did a lot of orders from ColourPop this month. This month, I ordered an Adept Cosmetics um, palette. And my colored rain and my color pop I already owned didn't fill it up, so I ordered more of those. And then I also um, ordered all the mascaras that have come out. So in my drawer, I have black and teal. In this particular order, I have red and blue. I love this formula. It works so well. It is my favorite mascara right now. And I have always been putting with the voluminous red and blue, I've been putting it on my bottom lashes. And then with these, I have more options. The teal is really light, but it's almost like a, a tease. So from far away, you can't see it. When you get up close, it's there, and, you're, and it's, you know, more in your face. So I love those. I also, also got, because my order was big enough, I got a free All-Star Spray and a ColourPop um, concealer brush. So this well, this will go in my brush collection, no big deal. But this, I already actually had just, the literally the one order before this one, I had ordered this and the primer. So this brand new bottle will be going into our contests because we love doing contests. So when we hit 500 subscribers at YouTube or Instagram, or both that they happen at the same time, but one or the other can trigger it, I'm going to do a contest with a lot of brand new stuff. They have ColourPop, MAC, um, Physicians Formula, Lashes, Elf. Um, I just keep adding stuff to it until it's big enough. Hopefully I it will split between two people depending on how many items are in it, but that's the goal. Um, I did get one lip liner and one eyeliner. Again, this is the green I was discussing. And then I did get a red or brown um, lip liner. I did three lippies. So I did a primer and then I did new rules and aftershock. So this is new rules. And... Of course, I just stab my lipstick when I did that. It's always nice. Aftershock. And the primer, of course, is just clear. So, I love ColourPop. I buy pretty frequently from them, although I'm going into a no-buy. I won't be allowed to anymore. That's why I kind of splurged a little bit. But I feel like their stuff is very um, well made in the you the use is very good it lasts all day it doesn't fade whatever and it's so cheap it's so affordable it's like drugstore prices the last item i got in that order was um fair 27 neutral and this is the stick foundation i have the liquid i like it i know some people don't but i like it i think it works really good um it does get a little bit too matte for my dry of skin but i still like it i think it works really well so that is my haul i don't think i missed anything so if you have any questions or you want to if you want any more information on any of the products I, I bought, you can comment below. Also, if there's something you particularly want to see reviewed, you want to know what it looks like, you want to see me put it on, you want to see anything. Now, I am not a makeup artist. I am just a consumer, but I'm happy to help and happy, you know, I love doing it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.